Hello, this is Wolf, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Another video inside of Stampy's lovely world, and I, I think I just heard... Oh, <laughs> is you trying to end a pearl up here? <laughs> oh, oh, he made it just about. Oh, getting cookie crumbs all over my balcony. And we're also going to be joined by Polly Reindeer, way over there in your lovely house as always, and Esther. You're not coming with us, though, Esther, and I'm going to help us, unfortunately. We should take you on, like, a journey. All you've ever seen is just this... Oh! Oh! Oh, you got an endermite! There's a, there's, there's a creature on my balcony! <laughs> get away, get away, get away! Oh, no. That's actually kind of scary. It's terrifying. I was not expecting to wake up to a, an, an endermite. There we go. Let's get rid of you. <laughs> wow! That actually did quite a bit of damage as well. Holy. Okay. Well, after that fiasco dealt with, I think it's about time we go and rightfully eat the breakfast that I have. Which is, of course, a pork chop. Nothing new. Nom 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 nom. Mmm. I need that to regenerate all that damn health I lost. <laughs> wow, that was interesting. Endemites, man. What are you gonna do? Anyway, so we're now going to head over to the Love Garden and show you guys who we're gonna be adding to it today. Of course, a Love Garden you can't ask to be added, but it is a place of love and peace and. Pumpkin. Good job, Fizzy. Good job. 10 out of 10 pumpkin. It's, it's very pumpy. It, it, you know, it's got some pump to it. <laughs> I tell you, Fizzy, by the end of this video, with all the with all the stuff that we're going to be making relating to pumpkins, you're going to be the pump king. <laughs> anyway, speaking of um, love gardens and pumpkins, I don't know why you feel that, but it's cool. We're going to be adding Charles. And that is because he's doing a somewhat official like continuation of... Uh, Stampy's world once Stampy finishes like the finale episode with all of like the plot that's going on with that um, He is he's also been like, a big help with the app by app And he's also got some really cool design ideas for his season 2 which you guys are definitely gonna want to see So thank you for um, Helping and I guess doing what you do <laughs> and welcome to the love garden Right, I should probably eat some bread, because um, that endermite did definitely do some long-lasting damage. <laughs> wow, Fizzy, you're, you're not using enderpearls near my balcony again. That was very dangerous. Um, I can't put my dogs in that form of danger, however. And speaking of which, that is where we're going to be heading to. The doghouse. And which companion will I take today? I will take... Um, who should I take? No, you don't really have the look in your eyes today, I'm afraid. Um... Let's take Barnaby. You know, Barnaby, he's like the oldest stampy dog. Do you agree with my decision? Yes. Let's go out this door. It makes a bit of a change, doesn't it? You know, I thought I saw something about that, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to head down into the secret base, and I thought I saw something, just like a figure about to shoot me. I'm not tripping. Did you guys see that as well? D did you see anything? No? I thought I... I don't know what it was. Um, anyway, right. So, we're gonna head on down to the secret base. And why do I always fail that parkour? Because it's, it's a little bit laggy for me, because I'm I'm looking through my video capture device instead of um, my actual TV screen. But oh well, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna head on down to the teleporter. And of course, head over to the Funland that way. It wouldn't be any ordinary um, video without that. And uh, you cannot head into the teleporter, so guys, I will meet you on the other side. Um, no teleporting for you, Barnaby. He's feeling very mischievous today, isn't he? All right, come on, boy. Right, we're gonna head in here, and um, which one was it I pressed? I think it was this one. Button number two, and we will now head off to the Funland. And by now, I would wager that we should be just about it the, at the Funland, so I'm gonna press the lever and, um, oh. I think I pressed the wrong button. Uh, why do I always do these things to myself? So yeah, the game that we were designing in the last episode is, um, it's basically a pumpkin game. So the idea is, it's kind of like Broth Brawl 2, uh, in a way. Which way should I go? I'll, I'll go this way. So, it's gonna be multiple layers. And where Broth Brawl kind of didn't really have, like, teams, it's going to be more like 1v1 teams still. So there's going to be orange representing the pumpkins and purple representing just because one of the helpers was like, I like purple. I wonder who that is. Hmm. Um, and was basically just like, yeah, let's um, let's use purple in a, an aspect of it. And I was just like, you know what, I'm not going to refuse your idea. And there it is, in the distance there. Quite a good angle to approach it from. Uh, since the last episode, I, we have made a few improvements. Hello, Mr. Cow. Jeez, you guys made it over here quite fast. 
um, yeah, we have uh, some fence gates, so you can now get in from the sides. We also did all four of these uh, little fog effect thingies, and I think they do look really, really cool if I do say so myself. Um, down here, I'll quickly show you guys. We're going to be working on this today, uh, me and the helpers. Up there, I will go up there and show you, I think, uh, so yeah, off camera, uh, we have been doing quite a lot of work revolving around this game, just because I noticed that the last episode was 31 minutes. And it was mainly just, you know, building the outside and stuff, but I was kind of like, well, we don't really want a repeat. So yeah, this is what we've kind of gotten done. So the multi-layered aspect comes in like this. So we have a ladder going down, but I will drop down. So uh, we're gonna be building some giant apples. Oh, I hear someone taking damage. Um, hello there, guys. <laughs> so when you drop down, you'll like land on an apple, obviously just to make it kind of fair. And then you'll drop down to this layer here, then once you've done this layer, you'll drop down, well, surprise, surprise, down to here. And then this is the third layer. So the idea is the apples are going to get smaller and smaller as you sort of drop down. So this will be very small apples. Uh, they'll be quite, like, few and far between still, just as obviously so you can still kind of, like, make the jumps and get down there and whatnot. Um, Barnaby, I am going to sit you down a little bit away just because I don't want, you know, you to just fall down the holes. And I know there's water down there, but just for your own safety. We don't want anything happening. Um, you guys can, like, you know, keep guard whilst you're helping. Um, so what we're going to be doing, excuse me, on the chest fizzy. For the first thing, actually, I'll put some uh, red back because I'm not going to need that much. Uh, we're going to be working on some of the apples. Okay, so what I will do, guys, is I will work on some of the... Um, I'll work on the upstairs. If you two want to work on each uh, each lower floor so for example the middle floor will have like some smaller apples so I'll show you how it's gonna be just so then you help us know what we're actually gonna be doing okay so for up here let's take let's go over here right uh, let me place a block down there so the, the apples are gonna be two blocks high and we're gonna do three blocks like this uh, I'm not gonna worry about filling them all in just because I think that'll be quite a waste of wool if I'm gonna be honest because of the how big these ones are uh, and you guys don't have to worry about this as well. Oh, it's oh, it's it's thundering. Oh wow, that is that's quite scary. I didn't I did not expect us to get thunder in this episode. <laughs> okay, uh, that is fine I guess. So these apples are gonna be this big. However, there's gonna be the added thing because we're gonna have some lime wool, and the lime wool's basic or lime concrete. Sorry, I, I did just mistake that. My bad. The lime concrete's basically just gonna be like this. So it's just gonna be on one side. Just any side will do. Uh, and then yeah, you can just basically do that. And then for the lower floors, I guess it'll, it'll get... I don't know what I was about to say, I was about to say we'll, we'll get dry down here from the rain, but we're kind of working in water, so that would be kind of stupid. Okay, so I think if I place it there, that should be right. Yeah, so these apples, of course, this one's going to be smaller. And it's just so then, when you land on this floor, of course, you have something to land on. Each team will be sent down here, and these apples, as you as you can see, they're smaller. So this one's 2x2, two two, the ones up there were 3x3. Three three. And of course, you can still do the sort of apple uh, thing in these, like, corners if you want. So do something, I don't know, like that will do. Uh, just something that looks... Apple-ish, I guess. <laughs> Apple-ish. I guess I'll do that on the, same, on the other side over here, just to be sure that, of course, you help us know... Uh, the deed of what we're sort of doing and then I'll do the downstairs uh, like marking out those ones just to be sure those ones are gonna be the easiest whoever wants to do those is not gonna have a hard job at all I'll tell you that um, oh I hear damage being taken oh dear <laughs> I've probably fizzy's ender pearls as we all know and love uh, the ender pearls are definitely a trademark I'll be honest with fizzy's crazy party style and you know what it's a good style to have because I think if you're just Oh, I just placed one in the water. That'll, that'll, that's like a cheat code right there. Actually, I just have to sacrifice that one because otherwise, yeah, it's going to be a little bit difficult. I'll just, I'll do this one a little bit different. I'll, I'll, I'll mine out the two like that, just because it's not really going to make much of a difference anyways. Um, so yeah, so obviously if, you, if you're down here, you'll land on this one. And then this is where it's going to get a little bit more difficult because down here, we're going to have only apples that are two by two. So you definitely want to be making sure that, you know, you're landing on the apple as opposed to in the water because well there's not going to be exactly a, a cheat way to get up so 
just just make sure that you're doing um, well to land on these because they are definitely smaller and it's it's kind of hard because it kind of increases the difficulty because of course the first one's kind of like a warm-up the second one's got that sort of oh they're smaller i'm probably definitely going to fall off um oh i see the lightning down here that's really eerie wow i just saw it flash i did not expect the lightning to reach this deep in um so yeah, then we can basically do the same thing with the uh, designs over here. I need to... Oh yes, I... Um, I realised I didn't even build this one, these in the middle. I think that one's fine, I think. Yeah, that one's fine. I need to... Um, I need to move that hole. Um, Polly, or anybody, if you guys, like, ever do come back down here, um, you'll see what I mean. Just, like, basically just move the hole over. It's, it's a bit in the wrong spot, and it's not very good. I think that will line up, yeah, because that's obviously right there. Then I just need to do a two by two like this. Okay, so at least that's where everyone will land sorted. Um, gives everybody a bit of a opportunity then just to obviously land down, and then, yeah, you might take a bit of fall damage when doing so. Down here is a bit iffy because, of course, well, the hole's a bit in the wrong spot. Uh, with that being said, I think we will head upstairs and do some of the other ones. And then I think, actually, considering you guys have seen helpers, if you um, get the design and just like just scatter them around, make them jumpable, okay? Um, I will work on this stuff down here. You're probably wondering what this room's going to be. It's kind of going to be a hub of sorts. Um, not that it's really needed, but it's just a way so you can kind of connect from down there to up here, because of course, like, Otherwise, you're going to be kind of stuck down there, aren't you? I don't know what I'm doing. I need to head out here. Guys, it's getting nigh. I'm kind of a bit scared. Uh, we have beds out here, so very pumpkin-themed. Oh, wait, we can't sleep. I think there's monsters nearby. Okay, when this usually happens, because there's, like, if you don't know, there's big caves, like, under the ground, we usually just head off to the um, the pirate plunder beds. Oh, right, there we go. Well, there's a sheep over there. What are you doing out in the rain, sheep? I know it's probably better for you to regrow your grass that way, but... It, it does definitely help to have a nice cozy place to sleep. Oh, we have a slime on the on the way over to me. Let's get rid of you. Oh, yes, you're not taking fire damage, clearly, but that's all good. The rain is definitely quite heavy. Okay, if everyone can head over to Pirate Plunder, we can then sleep away the night. And then, yeah, so in the morning, I'll start working on all the other sort of uh, details that we can do in that entrance room. For example, like marking it out, how it's going to be and uh yeah just general kind of updates like that um maybe you should get in a bed fizzy <laughs> fizzy's just there like walking around like mm, should i sleep and then he's just like yep it's thundering we should probably uh get some sleep and i i wonder where polly is oh there we go i think yep polly is definitely gone to sleep because it is now the morning again okay thank the lord for that that was quite a thunderous night um and at least it's now a lot more peaceful and quieter without the rain just swooshing down and, you know, getting everything wet in the world. It's never fun. Never fun. But, hey, now that it's gone, I guess it is a lot better. Okay. So now... Oh, I got, I got some slime balls. Um, I will put those in that chest. I don't necessarily need slime balls for anything. They can just be um, there for fun. So the reason why, for you guys who are curious... Um, we've decided to do some of the, um, we've decided to do apples in there, is basically because it's kind of in the theme of like apple bobbing, if you think about it. So um, if you think about like um, just traditional like Halloween things, ha apple bobbing may come to, <gasps> oh, excuse me, apple bobbing may come to a few of your minds. Um, basically just because, you know, obviously that's just Halloween tradition. Some people do different things on Halloween and it, that's all good, you know? People just get up to whatever they do. Um, so yeah, I'm now going to dig out the floor just a bit deeper, just to then, yeah. Um, so, I want this room to be three blocks tall, um, which that's going to be fine if I place the orange and black pattern. Okay, so now I'm going to come over to here. Oh, excuse me. And I'm going to start mining out these walls like this. Um... This will all make sense, don't worry. I've got a pattern which you guys are going to like. I promise you, if you don't like this, I mean, it's not like you can get a refund, is it? <laughs> it's not like I'm just being like, ooh, what pattern would you like here? And then you guys are telling me, ooh, it would be cool alternating or whatnot. No, this is um, Lost Legacy perfect patterns right here. Um, it's gonna be checkered, not on the walls as such, but more just like on the floor and the ceiling. 
I guess all will make sense in the future. Right, I'm going to swap that out for some of the purple wool. And then, yeah, we're going to basically plop some of this down over here. Plop, is that is that really the right terminology? Probably not. I should have probably said place. That would have sounded a lot more um, realistic. And so, yeah, it'll all come together in just a few moments. And I can't wait to show you guys. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to have to break these ladders, which is going to be a slight annoyance, actually, because we need to, obviously, I've got an idea, actually, it's fine. It's all good. I've got a plan. I'm a man with a plan. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break out these walls first until we get, like, up to the top. That'll probably be the best course of action right about now. Um, and then this wall as well, I'll just break this. This is obviously going to be broken out too, but, um... Yes, that'll be fine actually. Okay, cool. Eh, eh. Let me get up there. Right. So then this stuff will be black wool. Like so. Actually, I'm going to break out the floor a bit here. There we go. Just then, of course, I have a bit of leeway with where I'm placing the blocks. And then over here, I'm going to continue the sort of... um the pattern of the orange and purple. So this side, what was that? That was purple. So this side has to be purple. Um, I'll probably replace that block at some point out of episode, but at the moment I don't even think I'm going to have enough ladders to get back up there, so um, just got to prioritize on my resources at the moment, which is, um, you know, it's never fun to have to do that, but oh well. It's what we have and what we need to use. Okay, so then this wall here we will obviously just replace in with black. Uh, like, so that will go up. No, it doesn't actually need to, but I'll just do it anyway, just because it's not going to hurt anybody. Eh, can I reach that block? No, of course I can't. <laughs> that would be right, wouldn't it? Okay, there we go. I kind of did. Okay, so now this can be, of course, black right here. And then this is going to be black in here. And then what I'm going to do with these sections is I'm just going to dig them back by... Oh, hello, Polly. <laughs> I'm just going to dig them back by two. So if you want to, if you have a pickaxe, I don't know if you do, but if you have like a pickaxe, just like dig on your side this back by two. That would be very nice. So yeah, this, I uh, don't really have the resources to make this happen right now. This will definitely be stuff that we just like finish off camera because I just wanted to get the general layouts of everything here. This is going to be just for general, like, you know, just chilling. If like a team's playing and, you know, you, whether you want to watch or not, or just in general, like a way, like I said, just to get from point A to point B from um, down here um, back to up at the top. So kind of serves as two purposes and we didn't want to just have a pointless corridor so we were kind of like well how do we make this funky and I think me and the helpers did definitely come up with a really cool and funky design which I think you guys are going to kind of understand where it's heading so I'm going to dig this out one more because this is going to be for the ceiling um of course we don't just want black concrete on the ceiling that would be a little bit ugly so kind of have to um think on our feet a little bit with it Oh, I got some coal. Oh, oh, <laughs> I broke. I, I, I break. Whoops. Uh, let me just pick block some of that. Uh, there we go. Let me patch that in. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Makes it a bit more painful, I know. I'm just bad, I guess. It's just my, my, my pickaxe is just good, I guess. That's, that's my excuse. It's just because sometimes when I'm whacking away at things, I just sometimes don't realize that, hey, you've just whacked the wrong block and then water floods down just like that. And it's, um... You know, it's, it's, it's not exactly the most ideal thing in the world, but nevertheless, it happens to all of us. Okay, so we can then fill these sections in. Oh, I guess you've had to pile up. That's completely fine, I guess. <laughs> I've already fixed the block anyway, but I guess you've just making it easier for you to get back without having to go the whole way around. I don't blame you. Okay, so now we can dig. I need to do these sections. Let me just quickly dig out for these. All right, like this. And yeah, I will then get the black wool. Oh, I'll place down ladders. Sorry, sorry helpers, I didn't I didn't even think. I just, yeah, I, I should have probably done that. Okay, I'll just place them on this side, seeing as, um, yeah, I think Polly was the one that built all those up, so yeah. I'll just do this. And I think they've, I don't know if they've intentionally done this, but they've blocked me in. How could they? <laughs> Um, oh well. Okay, they will connect up to those if I can place the damn things. Yes. Uh, this back wall here, I guess we didn't really. Th I didn't really think about this until now, so I probably should. Okay. I'll just dig this out. 
like this. I probably drop into the room. Yep, I did just then. Okay, I will sort. I just have to sort this out now. That's gonna bother everybody if I just leave that as black wool. Surely, I'm, I know what people are like. They're just gonna be like, "You left that as black wool? How dare you?" And I'm just gonna be like, "You know what? Skill issue. Things happen. Okay. Um, we sometimes get a little bit sidetracked in the in the episodes, and we like to work on other things that are a bit more fun to uh, watch. I guess is what I'm trying to get at." Because otherwise people are just going to be like, no, I'm not watching this, I'm going to go for a bit. And then, yeah, it's just never fun. Okay, so now that those are in, I'll sort out that back. Don't worry, guys. Um, Polly or Helper or whoever wants to or can, if we can dig out this floor, um, what I might do, just because I know Fizzy's had to just, uh, oh, I think it probably Polly, actually. I think it was Polly, my bad. I keep on forgetting. Um, I'm going to just for their benefit, in case they need to get back up, and I have a few letters, which obviously I will use into replacing for uh, the other um, ones on that side. I'll just build a ladder here just so then they can get up and down if they need to easier. Uh, that will probably be a little bit smarter. I've also, you probably saw, I did build a big ladder going up through the the big um, centerpiece. That will be gone, of course. Uh, that's literally just so then in case people want to obviously... Um, get up and down and build whatever they need to do. It just makes it easier for the helpers and for myself. I haven't really needed to use it, of course, because I've just kind of gone down and then was like, yeah, let's build this. Um, so I'll probably stop at building the floor and the walls, depending on um, what I have time to do. I don't know, but considering I haven't really been seeing much of the helpers around, I'm guessing they're up to their own devious plans. It's usually fizzy, isn't it? It's always fizzy that's like, oh, I'm going to build something or do something because it's funny. <laughs> And we like funny, so I, I'm quite looking forward to seeing what it possibly would be that Fizzy's been up to all this all this time. Okay, so now we're on to the fun part, guys. So while well, we've got, of course, the floor here, we're going to bring out a pattern. So this is going to be orange. Um, okay, let me just do it like this. So I'll just build out two by twos, and then we can fill them in with what's going to be on each side. I think that'll be much easier than what I was about to do. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be a big checker room, literally because it looks cool and it represents the teams and it's just like a nice little segue room. Uh, this is not lining up. Oh, I think it's because on this side I only needed to do uh, one. I should have brought shears. I think that would make sense because of course it doesn't need to be two on this side. I know it's going to be a bit annoying and a bit like, oh, why have you done that sort of thing, but oh well. If I had shears on me, I would mine this. Where are all the helpers? Like, honestly, I'm kind of, like, getting nervous that they're just, like, gonna surprise me with some form of, like, big other thing that they've been building. Because, like, I know what they're like. I know how devious they can get. And it's just, like, when they're not here and they're not helping doing what they're supposed to. Well, I'm not saying they're not helping. I'm just saying they're not, like, here with the situation right now. Okay. Um, I will get this built in here. It's getting night again. This episode's going to be another, like, 30-minute video that nobody's going to want to <laughs> stick around for the whole way. But if you have sticking around for this long, then comment down saying uh, that pumpkin thing looks pretty cool or something like that. Just so then I know who's actually engaging with the video because, of course, it just helps to know, I guess. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to, like, tear up all this black wool. So I'll just cut until I've done that, because otherwise it's going to be quite a long process without shit. Okay, guys, so we have now filled in the pattern. So the helpers are now helping, considering, yeah, we do got a rapid fire and get this out and of the way and done. Uh, so yeah, we can now, we'll do the same pattern for the ceiling, guys. So it's going to be literally just like what we've done in here. Um, not green. Oh, that's concrete. I don't know why I placed that. I wasn't really paying attention as to what I was getting out. I'll move this stuff. There we go. Okay, so the pattern is literally going to be the same. So where it's like black on the floor, we're going to have black on the ceiling. So this will be black here. And then this side will be orange. So like orange. Uh, I need to move that. That will make my life a lot easier. Orange, black. And then orange, black. Orange, black. Literally up to there. Um, and then for these bits, this side is of course orange, so we can then just build this in. Um, thank you for the help helpers. This is awesome. At least we can have a better chance of getting this done now. 
Um, I'll grab some torches from up here because I do think I, I did get some, unless the helpers have already got on their own. It is getting, it is like fully dark out here. This is crazy. Yeah, just so we can light the place up a little bit more. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this stupid nerd pole because that's not intended. Don't worry, that's like its own thing. Okay, so we're going to pop a torch down here. We're going to pop one down um, here. I'll remove these uh, ones here. These are just temporary, I guess, so then we can obviously see what we're doing. And I'll put one here. And I think the pattern is a little bit different to what it was when we originally done it, but that is okay. That's completely um, okay. We can obviously just work with what we've got. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to, like, peruse the area and just make sure that we don't have anything to, um, you know... Helpers, you can guard me. Barnaby, you can come with me. You're, you're a good guard dog when it comes to helping with uh, guarding. Um, is there anything around here? Cookie garden looking normal. Okay, that's good. I thought Fizzy would have done something with this, considering he built it and how close we were to it, but I'm quite surprised, actually. Um, yeah, everything seems fine. Oh, there's a big slime over there. Okay, well, let's tackle it. Let's, let's get him. I love how big the flames are when you do that. That is crazy. Oh, there's a spider. There is a spider. There we go. There's so many slimes. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, so yeah, we've basically gotten what we wanted to do done. We've got, I've marked out like, where the apples are going to be. Marked out everything. Let's have a look. I'll see if the helpers have been um, busy. Where's the fence gate? There they are. That'll be very wise. I, I, I should probably put them where the ladders are. And then like that'll be a lot easier. I'm going to crouch just because I don't want to fall in. Oh, we have apples. Fizzy has been really busy. Nice. <laughs> busy Fizzy. Oh, I like that. And you've put torches on them. That's actually a really cool touch. Um, yes. We're not going to play right now. I'm not playing Broth Brawl with you, Barnaby. Simply because it would be... Well, um, actually, yeah. I should probably explain the name of the game. Is that possible? Uh, it's probably possible, John. I'm just going to mine that just so then, of course, I can just, like, talk and jump, I guess. Actually, let me just mine it with a better tool, just in case Barnaby's on that still. Imagine. There we go. Um, the name of the game is going to be called Pumpkin Plop. Um, basically because, of course, like it's a pumpkin, it's apple bobbing, and you're plopping down into the different layers. So Pumpkin Plop is the name. Um, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please do feel free to show your support in the comments by saying something, you know, that's funny. We, we probably will squish around some of these pumpkins because, of course, building it uh, in a very, like, a uh, low sort of perspective and obviously a time limit can be quite um, um, you know pressuring so we can probably do a bit of a better layout um, but yeah so that is all from me thank you for watching this video I keep failing on that jump so yeah we're definitely gonna have to do something and I will see you all later bye